Welcome back to another video from Inzara.com. Now, in this video, we will be talking about the Sales Pipeline Tracker Excel template. This is a free Excel template that you can download from Inzara.com. If you are a small business person or if you are a salesperson in a large company and you're trying to keep track of sales leads that you are working on, then you will find this template very useful. In this video, we will talk about what a sales pipeline is, why we need sales pipeline management, how Excel can be a useful tool to do that, and then also specifically about this template, what are the features in this template, and then a live demo of how to use the template. And finally, we will wrap it up with how you can even further customize this template to suit your needs. Now, let's start with a definition of what a sales pipeline is. These are two examples of sales processes. So on the left is a much simpler process where a prospect who is somebody who might be interested in your company's product, but not a customer yet. So a prospect reaches out with an inquiry asking for a solution to their needs. And then you as a salesperson or a company may provide a quote for that product or service. Then the prospect may decide to purchase the product or service and then that's a sale and that means they become a customer now. So it's a very simple process. And it could also be many steps, not just three. Okay, there could be many steps like this one on the right. Uh, it could start with a prospect being just a lead uh, you don't know whether the custom, um, the person or the prospect has any need that actually can be met by your company's needs. So then it becomes an opportunity once you know that there is a match between the need and the product and service. And then it may lead to a demo stage where you actually demo the product or the service and explain how it could actually meet the prospect's uh, needs. And then after that, if everything goes well in the demo, the prospect may say, hey, I would like to have a quote for this product or service. And then finally, the prospect may choose to buy the product or service and then it becomes a sale and then the prospect becomes a customer. So again, this is just another example just to illustrate that there could be multiple steps and even within that there could be a lot of complex steps in between as well. So now just at the high level what we're saying is that this is the sales process for the company and the sales pipeline is just a visual representation of that sales process. And why do we need to visualize and why do we need to manage the sales pipeline data in an effective way? And now let's talk about what the benefits are. So here are some benefits. First, we will be able to prioritize the deals that are more likely to be successful because we will know which, which deals are at which stage, what are the chances of winning that deal. We, we, because we are organizing all that data, we'll be able to prioritize our time and work on the deals which are more likely to be successful. And the second is we can identify or determine if there are specific stages which are weak in our process. For example, the demo stage might be taking, um, you know, where most of the leads are dropping off or the, or the deals are dropping off, then that tells us that we need to work on the demo to make it more convincing uh, for the prospects. And then the third is to identify bottlenecks. If there are certain stages in your process, which are which is um, which are taking a long time. For example, if you are dependent on a third person to do the demo and you are waiting um, for their time and then that is causing the delay, then that delays the entire sales process. So identifying these bottlenecks, which stages are slowing things down could help could be helpful for you to close the deal faster. And then uh, fourth is in a larger environment where you are um, you know, a one of the salesperson and there are many, many salespeople working uh, in the company by centralizing this data and comparing and finding the best practices. So those who are most successful, um, we can learn from them, you know, how they're able to close the deals faster and better. And so finding and sharing the best practices uh, will be possible if we do proper sales pipeline management. The fifth one is uh, you'll be able to better forecast the future sales uh, because now you have all this data on the 
past deals and how how often you've been successful and not uh, based on all that and the active pipeline data you will be able to forecast better um, how much sales you'll be bringing in in the in the future next month or next quarter or next year so all of these are just some of the benefits of um, good and effective sales pipeline management now we can do this uh, there are many many um, cloud-based software and tools available to manage all this data from a sales uh, pipeline perspective. Um, however, for most um, you know, small to medium scale operations, Excel will do more than fine. It'll be uh, a perfect um, uh, tool because it allows us to easily learn and use the tool. It's, you know, it's less expensive. For example, the template that I'm gonna talk about is free and um, it'll be easier to customize and change the design, add additional calculations. All of that would be much, much easier because Excel is like an open canvas where we can make changes very, very easily. Now let's go and take a live look at the sales pipeline tracker Excel template. This is a very simple template. So we have only two sheets, the home and the deals. And the home sheet is where I have some um, instructions on how you can use this template. And you can also click on the support page, which is going to take you to the page with all the screenshots and video that you're watching right now. All of this um, uh, will be available in the support page. You can also leave your comment there if you have any questions or if you have any feedback, that will be very, very helpful to me. Um, and so let's get started. So I'm going to go directly to the deal sheet here. I've already entered some sample data so that we can see how the template looks when it's filled with data but you can download a copy of the template without any sample data and start entering your own data. Overall, the top section is the calculated section. All of these things are automatically calculated. And this is the input table. This is what I will call as the deals table. Now, let's start um, first with the table and understand what input we need to provide. And then I will go to the top section. Now, the first is the company name. Each row here is a unique deal and each row, you know, each deal may have a company associated with that and a person so that you know who you're talking to. And then the deal value is the um, if the deal is not closed yet, you don't know how much the value is, then you can still enter the estimated value. This is important because if you don't know what the value is, you can't really prioritize. So put your best estimate, even if you don't know exactly the date when the deal was created. And then here is the stage. So by default, the template has uh, is set up for five stages. So the five stages are lead, opportunity, demo, quote. And the fifth one is the sale, which is not explicitly called out. Um, each deal, you would put it in one of these four intermediate stages. And based on your understanding of where the process is, you can just choose the drop down for that specific deal and then choose a stage. Now, if you don't like these four names of the deals, you can definitely change that to, um, you know, a qualified, for example, opportunity could be a qualified lead, just type directly there. That's it. And then um, everything will automatically work. So all you have to do is to type directly in these four spots what you want to call those four intermediate stages as. Now, then whatever you enter here will automatically appear in the drop down menu, drop down list here. Now, the win percentage. So for any deal, um, if it's still open, if you have not closed the deal, then enter the win percentage. Win percentage is the chances that you think um, the deal will successfully happen. For example, um, the these deals at the bottom they have not been uh, completed yet they've not been closed yet so i have entered you know i think this will there's a 10 percent chance that this lead will actually succeed or if this person um uh, person m this deal to work out that is a 40 percent chance so enter your percentage success rate for each of the deals that are open now the status so all these um the first you know 10 or so uh, deals are have a status so the status if it's blank, it means it's still open. You have not, you're still working on it. If it's done, then you either lose the deal or you win the deal. So you can choose one or lost depending on what happened with that specific deal. So in this case, I have seven or so lost deals and three of them I have won. So that is important 
when you close the deal it is important to enter the status the second thing which is important when you do that is you enter the close date so the um, uh, when did this happen when did this finally end enter the date if you don't enter a close date for a completed or closed deal then you will see this red border which indicates that there is an error or a missing piece of information and this missing piece of information could also happen if your close date is before the created date that is just checking for data uh, correctness and so you'll see the red border make sure that you correct the error now there are um, uh, email and phone fields you can rename this and use it for anything you want but it's just the way place where you can store the email address of the contact and the phone number of the contact for your purposes and then the next activity date this could be used by um, uh, in in terms of uh, noting down what when should i follow up with this lead for example these leads are closed so i don't need a next activity if you if you have you can definitely enter them but for deals which you're working on actively then you it's important to have a next follow-up date okay for this for example i've said 26 jan email them with details um, and then this lead 28th call them between 10 a.m and 11 a.m so you're basically noting down what the follow-up action is and the follow-up date is so that is the purpose of the next activity date and the notes columns um, so there is no calculations or anything done on the last four columns so you can just use it however you would like um, but I, I i feel that the next activity date could be a useful way to track down the follow-up activities okay now this is all that the table does so just to um, go back again to step one um, define your specific stages first then enter the basic information of each deal and then as you make progress on the deal update the stage update the win percentage when the deal is closed enter the status as lost or won. enter the date when it was completed um, if you're actively working on the deal, then make sure that you have a next activity date and notes to follow up. Okay, so that covers the input information. Now, all of the other things at the top are automatically calculated. Let's talk about how that works. The active pipeline here, um, this section tells you about what your current pipeline is. We have six open deals. And um, so basically these six are still open. And then the value of that is $21,200. That's nothing but just adding up these um, $21,200. And then expected value is the weighted value, meaning you, you think that um, out of the $1,800 deal here, you have a 10% chance of completion. So we only take 10% of that amount and then we provide that as the uh, expected value and then similarly we um, do the win percentage times the deal value and then we add them up to have the expected value now the um, it's very important to not to just go with only the total value because the reality is that you will not win all the deals you will win some you will lose some so it's important to have a win percentage concept so that you can be more realistic about how much sales you can bring in in um, based on the deals that are currently in the pipeline okay the um, this is the very similar information but it breaks it down by where in the process these deals are for example the six deals three of them are in the lead stage one each in the other three stages and then the total value is also shown clearly for those deals this is important because by looking at it you will have a an idea whether you have a lot of value in the earlier stages or later stages if you have a lot of value in the later stages for example if the quote amount is extremely high then that tells you that you know you're doing well you know you are you can expect a lot of good things to happen if you're able to convert those quotes by visualizing this amount these amounts by stages is helpful and then over here we see how many deals we have won so keep in mind that anything to the left of this this is all open deals the deals that are currently open but here we have closed deals um, as much as as it's important to understand how the currently active deals are it's equally important to understand how we have done in the past 
um, how many deals are we closing? So we have closed so far three deals successfully. We have won them. We have closed seven deals where we didn't win them. And so the amounts are, are associated with those deals are shown here. And then what is that conversion percentage? Nothing but three divided by three plus seven, 30 percent. So 30 percent of the time we uh, have won the deals and then time. How long did it take to win a winning deal? Um, it took on average 17 days. And uh, finally, the where are the deals lost? So when we lost those seven deals, what stage were they when they were lost? And it tells us that 43% of those were at the demo stage. So it gives us an idea which stage is something that we need to work harder on and improve. Uh, as you enter more and more data to this table, this data becomes more and more robust and it can be a very good indicator to you where you need to improve. Um, finally, um, on the uh, so this covers all the metrics and then separately I have a couple of slicers. So these slicers only work in Excel 2013 or after. Um, so if you're using an older version, these slicers won't work. But they don't really um, affect any of the calculations. It's just to filter this table. Uh, so after you have entered a lot of deal data here, it may become hard to actually, you know, scroll to the specific thing, specific deal that you want to uh, update. So this is where the slicers or nothing but filters can be helpful. So if I only want to look at the deals that are currently active, meaning I am, I want to up work on something right now, then you click on the status as blank, then it only gives you the deals that are open. So you know, these are the ones you need to work on. And sec secondly, if you say I only want to um, you know, uh, look at where we are at the quote stage. So then just click on that. There you go. So you have uh, that one deal, which is at a quote stage, it's still open. So you can work on that. Or you can choose multiple demo and quote by pressing the control key and clicking on demo. I'm able to now select two uh, values for the stage uh, filter. And so this is how you can do it. If you want to go back to all, just hit the clear filter, clear filter. Now you'll see all of them. So this is the purpose of the filters that we have. Now I'm going to um, provide a couple more tips about how to, you know, work better with the tables here. For example, you could, um, uh, f uh, if you want to filter by value, for example, let's just choose this. And now this is not sorted by the deal value. So you could look at the um, uh, sort here. And the way I did it is click here, sort largest to smallest. Now it actually sorted by the deal value, the highest value at the top. So you could begin to do this first and talk to that person or call that person or whatever. So this is one way you can do it. Um, and the other option is you could um, sort it based on the date. For example, um, you could say, I only um, give me the ones which are the earliest of the next activity date so that I do that first. Or you can also select a specific date and let's say it's today, Jan 26th. So I can just select 26th. Maybe this is a better way to do it. 26th and then hit OK. So it'll only show me the um, the items that are due or the activities that are due today. So this is one way you can use this table as a quick way of um, filtering to the activities that need to be done um, on a specific date. Similarly, the deal value, if you want to, um, you know, for example, look at all the deals that are greater than a specific amount, I could do that by saying, give me, uh, you know, everything that is more than 2000 or something. So it'll automatically filter that. And if you want to remove the filter, just select clear the filter. So th there are many, many ways you can work with this to be more efficient, get to that specific row of data quickly so that you can enter the data. So those are a couple of tips. Okay, so now I'm going to provide a few ways you can customize this template even further to meet your needs. So for example, if you um, want to change the currency, for example, the by default, it is providing dollars, but you may not want because in your country, you know, it's a different currency, just select these cells, press control one, that will open up the format cells. And now you can choose the currency of your choice. And the other places where we use currency are the cells. So you can just select them, 
again press control one change it from dollar to something else and then over here as well so anyway it's very simple there's no protection you can uh, change it however you want the dollar um, to any other currency the next is if you want to add another slicer if you like the slicer if you're using excel 2013 or later then you could add any of these fields as slicer uh, just select anywhere inside the table go to insert and then hit slicer this shows all the diff all the fields you have in this table now if i want to show win percentage um, and for example if you are doing a very um, organized way of entering win percentage as you know 25 50 75 or something like 100 so you if you're doing it in a um, you know in a organized way this could be very helpful as well so i can just look at give me the ones where i have 50 percent or higher chances of winning so this is how you can use uh, add a slicer you can add any number of slices as you would like now if you want to um, add a new column so you can just directly click here cell m1 add the new column name and that adds up and then if you want another one then you say another column and so you can name them how you want but now you have uh, columns added and now you can actually in these insert these as slicers too using the same method of insert slicer and choosing those new columns so this is how you can add new columns now there is um, a, a about protection there is no uh, sheet protection all the formulas uh, are right here in the sheet there are no hidden sheets so if you look at anywhere uh, click on any of these numbers then you will see that there is a formula behind and uh, so please don't edit the formulas because if you edit uh, unintentionally it breaks the functionality but if you know excel enough and you want to make the changes you can go ahead and cha change it there is no formula uh, there is no password um, to protect or you know it's completely open for you to use and edit however you would like what i would like to ask in return is your feedback so please provide feedback on whether you find this template useful uh, if you do please let me know which features are useful and if you think that some things are missing or some things on uh, could be done better please provide those um, i look forward to your feedback and it will help me to improve the template as we go further if you find this useful please share with your friends um, until we see in the next template video, thank you very much for watching.